Alrighty folks, today we're going to learn how to factor out GCF or the greatest common factor. So here we go. Okay, so what is GCF? Greatest common factor. This is the common multiple that all the pieces share that can be divided out. Okay, so this is also the first thing in any type of factoring. This is always the first thing you look for and the first step you always take when you're factoring is to take out what all the pieces share because it'll make your life so much easier. All right, so let's take a look at our first example, okay? So what I'm gonna do is because I see this plus sign here, I'm gonna parenthesis up around these pieces, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a line in a parenthesis, and what I take out here is the greatest common factor, okay? So looking at this between 12 and 42, well, I think, well, think of a multiples of 12 and 42, okay? Now, a lot of students will look at this and say, right off the bat, gee, they're divisible by two, okay? So they take out the two. Now, when you take something out, it's like you're dividing, okay? So if I take 12x and divide it by two, I now have 6x, okay? If I take 42y and divide it by two, I get 20, 21y, okay? Now, here's the problem. Looking in my parentheses, have I taken out, out the largest multiple? The answer is no, okay? Because six and 21 are also divisible by three, so I could take out even more, okay? So what I'm gonna do, okay? So there's the two I have. Now, knowing I could take out three more, I'm gonna take out the three, okay? So I'm now going to take 6x and divide it by 3, I get 2x. 21y divided by 3 is the 7y. And now looking at this, can I take any more? The answer is no, because 2 and 7, I can't do anything. Now with the variables, I have x, but does this piece share an x? The answer is no, so I can't take out an x. And then we go to the y's. This has a y over here, but this one doesn't. So can I take out y? The answer is no, you cannot. Okay, so to finish this off, we need to put this all together. So two times three is six, and you have two x plus seven y. Okay, and that is factored with just the GCF taken out. All right, so let's come over here. <clears throat> Again, I see the plus here, so I'm gonna parenthesis up. I always do that to remind me these are one piece. Okay, so let's start with the numbers. That's going to be the easy part. Okay, now between 4 and 24, what largest multiple do they share that I can divide out? The answer is obviously 4, right? So if I take out a 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. <clears throat> 24 divided by 4 is 6. Now, when it comes to the variables, okay, I'll show it to you, then I'll teach you kind of like the word of thumb my students have. Okay, let's look at x to the fourth. x to the fourth means I have four x's. x cubed means I have three x's. Now, kind of like playing the prices right here, we want to have the largest amount of x's I can take out without going over. Well, what I mean is, creating a negative result, okay? So if I'm looking at this, I can take out 1x. I could take out 2x's. I could take out 3x's. Now, notice how this still has an x, but I'm out of x's over here, which means I can't take out any more. So the largest amount I can take out is x cubed. So kind of my students' idea or their rule is when it comes to GCF, you look for the, you look for the smaller one, and that's the most you can take out, <clears throat> okay? So now, as we see, I had four X's in. I took three X's out. How many are left with this one is just one X, or just X. Now over here, we had X cubed. I had three X's in. I take three X's out. That means I have nothing left there. So this is it. 
Now again, some students will say, gee, I don't like that one there. Do I need it there? The answer is no. So if you wanted to get rid of it, you could. And there it is. All said and done. All right, let's look at another one. Okay, now a little... Now this next one, we have to be careful with because let's parenthesis up. I see the plus and minuses here. And students will look at this and say, gee, I can't take anything. Let's, let's take a look at the numbers here. Well, between one and five, the common multiple is one. So, and here's x to the first. This doesn't have any x's at all. So I can't take anything, leaving me this. But the thing is you can, you can take a GCF. Notice how everything is negative, <clears throat> okay? So when everything's negative like that, you can take a negative one out. And by doing that, that changes those signs over to X plus five. Because again, remember when you take the GCF, it's just like you're dividing. So negative x divided by negative 1 is positive x. Negative 5 divided by negative 1 is positive 5. Okay, so watch out for stuff like that. Kind of like my, I tell my students is, again, if your lead term is negative, we don't like that when we factor. It's safe to take out the negative 1 if that's, ne if that's like that. Okay. All right, now let's take a look at a, a trinomial here, three pieces. So I parenthesis around this whole thing. Now, when we're taking the GCF, okay, it's got to be shared by everything. Okay, so let's start with the numbers. 3, negative 12, and 21. So they all share a multiple of 3. So I can kick out the 3. <coughs> that 3 divided by 3 is 1. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. <clears throat> 21 divided by 3 is positive 7. Now for my x's. Now like my students have said, when everything's got an x, so it means I can take out a GCF, we look for the smaller one. 5, a 4, or a 3. So we're going to go after the 3 because it's the smallest one. So that tells me I'm going to kick out x cubed. And if you don't believe me, think of it this way. X to the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four with X to the fourth. One, two, <laughs> three with X cubed. Okay, and we start canceling. We are saying we take out X cubed. It means there's three X's being t uh, canceled out. So if I do that and scribble these off, Okay, that means I have none left here, one and two, which is okay. I didn't create a negative result, and I have to take the same out of every grouping. So here, five X's were in, I took three X's out, that means we have two X's left, so X squared, as you can see up here. Okay, I had four X's in, I took three X's out, so how many are left? Four minus three is one as we saw here. And then here, three X's were in. I took three X's out, so how many are left? None, so I don't have to write it. And as we saw here, they all canceled out, okay? So this right here, <clears throat> oh, my pen shut off. This right here is our factored solution, just taking out the GCF. <coughs> all right, now, Here's where you gotta be very careful. Big monster like this one. Okay. So, let's start. <clears throat> so let's start with the regular numbers. Actually in parentheses first. All right, so let's look at the numbers. I have an eight, I have a 16, and I have a negative two. So what's the largest multiple I can take? Well, it's two. Eight divided by two is four. 16 divided by two is eight. Negative two divided by two is negative one. <clears throat> All right, now let's look for the X's. X, X, and an X. Everything shares X's, which means I can take out a GCF. So let's take a look at our exponents here. We had a four, we have a three, 
and we have a x to the first. So how many x's can I take out? Only one, go for the smallest one. So, and now we start our little mathematical hokey pokey here. We have four x's in, I take one x out. How many are left? There are three. I have three x's in, I take one x out. How many are left? Well, there are two. I add one x in, I take one x out. How many are left? None. All right, let's go to the y's so and make sure everything's there. We have a y, y, and a y. Okay, so since everything's got y's, I can now reduce. So, all right, so we're after the y's. So, looking at what I have, I have y to the sixth, I have y to the fourth, and I have y to the ninth. So the smallest y I've got is the y to the fourth. So I'm gonna take out y to the fourth. So now we do our mathematical hokey pokey. I have six y's in. I take four y's out. How many are left? Two. I had four y's in. I took four <laughs> y's out. How many are left? None. I had nine y's in. I took four y's out. That means there's five y's left. <clears throat> now, be very careful here. Z to the eighth. Z to the seventh. No z's. So how many z's can I take out? Well, you can think of this one of two ways. Thinking of the definition of greatest common factor, remember, it has to be shared by all pieces. This one down here does not have a Z. So you can't take a GCF out, okay? So there is no Z GCF that you can take out of this thing. The other way to think of it is <clears throat> in terms of the exponents. This is technically, if I don't see it, Z to the zeroth power. So if you want to play that game, looking at your z's between z to the 8th, z to the 7th, or z to the 0th, how many z's could I take out? What's the smallest one we got? Zero. So you can put z to the 0 here, but that's kind of pointless, right? Because if you take eight, you had 8y's in, you take 0 z's out, it doesn't change anything. So we're just going to leave this as z to the 8th, z to the seventh. And again, I'm not gonna write z to the zeroth here because that's no point, it's stupid because it's just one, we all know that, okay? So, be careful. So this right here is our factored using GCF. All right, so there's this video, again, short and sweet. Hopefully you learned a lot from it. And again, I will see you in the next video.